But we got this all-time 76ers versus all-time Magic Squad. 76ers uh, kind of in a down year last year, despite making the playoffs, as crazy as that seems. Um, but uh, with the retirement of some people and, and some people getting older, you know, you got BJ Cannon stepping in the starting five. Um, whereas the Magic, I mean, this has been their starting five. This is the, the, the whole time, right? Um, and for whatever reason, their chemistry, they just have not been able to, you think it'd be Oop City? It's not, okay? It's Poop City, all right? So they're going to have to turn things around. Both these teams are three and five. Um, someone's going to have to take the right step uh, to, to turn things around here tonight. At home, two relatively close teams on paper. I'm going to go with the Magic for this one. Well, the weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation. Mm. Check in that rebound. NBA basketball. This is I'm I mean, Orlando Clark drafted Kellogg and Greg um, Anthony. Ooh, David ooh. Aldridge is on our sideline. Uh, it's the Philadelphia uh, Orlando had a good draft. And the so Orlando Magic. Now look at Philadelphia's yeah. starting lineup. Cunningham is out there with MB. Then there's Tony. You know, things are looking up for him. You know, the thing with Orlando is that they're starting Cannon five is good. Oh, and even though they left Cunningham, Cunningham wide open. And he's good on the three ball. Cunningham's got his team uh, on the board. To their bench has been a huge liability for him. You know, they still have some, some tuning to do, but uh, the bench is definitely much better this season than it's ever been. Here's Embiid, uh, good oh. for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. That's like this, though. It doesn't really matter how good your bench is if you... <laughs> That thing if you're not going to play and defense at all, I mean, leaving Cunningham wide open and then, nice I mean, Shaq getting absolutely crucified by Joel Embiid down low and then Penny Hardaway no good. chucking up whatever and that was. The defense pay for the lax coverage that time. You know, that's, I, I, I don't know, but. <laughs> it's stolen mm. by the Brady. Mm. Now, here's Howard. Defense right on him. Mm. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. Dwight Howard is a big, strong, active guy. Even when you hit him, he still is able to hustle through the house. in the house. And he's got his Alert. first chance at the line here. Getting a chance to go to the line. Shooting one. He's doing that. Let's see. It. And that Ooh, one misses. Miss. And Embiid has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a three-point game. McGrady against Maxey. And there's the pass to Embiid. Over Hill. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Maxey. That's a nice soft touch from Embiid. Well, he's so smooth for a guy of his size. Scoring inside for him looks effortless. Now here is Hardaway. Here's McGrady. Bangs home the trifecta. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Maxie against McGrady. Cunningham looking at Beckham. Over. Passes it to Embiid. <laughs> Joel. Over Howard. Ooh. And again, it's Philadelphia. Joel can go to work. Out here, right out of the gate. Perfect. But four, he's going to have to go to work on Dwight and Shaq. And uh, I believe the rookie hey, they drafted. I did speak earlier with the Magic's head coach. This is the first Here I am like, oh, yeah, they had a good draft. I don't know who they drafted. Hmm, Grant Hill. He told me if we can disrupt their offensive flow early and deny them easy looks, they can wear them down over the course of the night to get the win. Oh, yeah, they drafted Kevin, Felix Mendes, who's, All right, DA, who's also powerful. Oh! how it plays out it's going to come down to hustle and in this league you have to be very quick to rotate mm. when you're in help and that's why communication is so Grant important Hills. guys have to talk to each other on the defensive end i heard a coach once say that talking is energy and energy is execution and here's malone after grant hill just hit the three and beat the screen oh got them all mixed up oh, wow no good that time and it's the Dwight Howard and Jack able to defend that successfully. I was gonna say Joel and Vita, he's gonna eat. Don't get me wrong, but he's gonna, they're gonna trade off between Shaq and, and White. 
and even use some guys off the bench if they need to, you know, foul and slow him down a little bit. So, is he going to be able to continue to eat in the fourth quarter? That's the question. Six to shoot over Howard. Embiid, no good. The Orlando Magic coming to this one following a loss to the Also, I mean, that's exactly what they need right there. Too bad Maxi was on the way to. Picks him up. To, to cut that out. <laughs> Sinks the triple. Embiid's got nine points. You need people like Guys, Hill, his consistency in terms of Hardaway, Brady to seize control. Stretch the floor, but because what you really need is to set up those hoops those inside those pick and rolls right there. Right, the Shaq, the White, two big athletic guys. Got to get them going. Maxi with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Ooh, cannon wide open. For Philadelphia. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. It's it's magic a squad. Offensive player. Not too good at defending the three ball. Here's McGrady. Luckily, though, the screen on Maxi. Ooh. Yeah, seven sixers not too good. Good at the chip with a three pointer of their own. It's a parallel wide open. Just focusing on the task. Great right, Hilda, I think this is third. That's all you can do. Three. Yeah, these Tonight. teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Down this low. is where Joel has to go outside. Because they also have the low. They're going to they're gonna they're gonna switch with Shaq and Dwight on room to finish that on Joel, but. Jack with a screen yeah, you also have Malone down there as well. Brady kicks to Howard for three. Hill. And mm. again, it's Orlando with the three. Man, Hill is on fire. Show that killer instinct this quarter looking I think to it's extend a 12 points. Philadelphia decides to take their first time out right here. This is the thing. Phoenix Mendes, he's a powerful. He can stretch the floor. If he was on the floor there, I think he takes that shot. Instead of passing. Because Grant Hill, I don't think he somewhere. should have taken that shot. You know? That was, that was, that was a questionable attempt. Great make, though. Right? Um, whereas, you know, White was basically wide open. I mean, you know, you know he's never going to put that up. But Felix Mendez, a little smaller in stature, but... He can put that up. And See, and that's what of team this Orlando right team there. should be doing right there. It should be all how they lose all the time. Bring down with some pressure. Thunder. Yeah. I tell you what, I think the pass was even better. I mean, that was room service delivery hmm. at its finest. Look, White Howard will be. That's not a good clock. matchup out there, at least. On the way, finds Hill. And it's good, assisting on the play. Dang, bro. Hard away. Hardaway has got his Averaging 16 points a game the early in the season, he's already got 14, 15 points. Cannon pass to Maxi. Embiid with a screen on the oh, that's a bucket. Another hmm. three for Philadelphia. Too much help defense already finding by the spots Orlando and capitalizing squad. Playing really efficient basketball. And here is Hardaway. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Mug Brady with That's, the ball. Yeah, that should, and that should be a bucket. That shouldn't, have, that shouldn't even be like that. That should have just been a straight so up. Here is Philadelphia. They trail by one. Running out. T Mac definitely has the uh, passing vision. Shot no good, a bit short. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space oh, for himself. Hill. But the fatal that is what the magic needs. There's not much that Hill does not do well. He does a bunch of good That's things. That's what the magic needs. Spotting the open man. Just passes to Shaq and Dwight. Right away. Now here's with a head of steam, bro, the and those two are so far. unstoppable. Hill pulls it in. Magic leading by three. Now here's Hardaway. And Hill pulls it down. How about the vertical of Hill? Outstanding. Rising up and ramming it home. Yes, sir. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Hill's gone 6 or 7 from the field here, getting just about everything to drop. Pass to Embiid. Oh, and he knocks it off the glass. Wow. What a defensive effort. I'm about to say, if Shaq's throwing the oops, that's wild, but 
And Embiid throws it down. Too well. An almost unfair amount of power. Nobody he can go finesse Embiid and power. Here's McGrady. And he Ooh. Down right on top of Joel Embiid. Doing it with style. McGrady punishing. Is he agreeing with that? Giving that kind of airspace. Timeout called. The Ooh. 76ers. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. All right, now we're seeing the swap. So now, this is where we have the differential, right? We got Sissoko, whatever his name is. You got Allen Iverson. Will Chamberlain. Julius Irving. I think Shay. No, wait. Who, who is this? Whoever they drafted this year, I think. Whereas, you know, that is going with Nelson. Uh, Here's Burks. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Bob Burks. Uh, is to Iverson. Orlando Black, I think, is his name. And Phoenix Wendell, so. Screen on Nelson. And you got Wendell Carter as well. Oh, the lob to Irving. Oh, Burks with the steal. Great steal with great anticipation. But look, he doesn't have any vision as he misses Nelson. Wide well, open, but. I guess he didn't really need to. One of the reasons this team is in charge. Who's the 76? There's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess. Uh, and they're not Bird. afraid to show it either. Boy, oh, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that, guys. Just fine. Oh, Dario Turk. Yeah, Turk. 146 left to play in the first quarter. Shot from the wing and good mm. as it just snugs right down through the net. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Orlando. I think that's Wendell Carter, They've really too. They've been disruptive on the defensive end, forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. And they've also done a great job turning defense into offense tonight, creating turnovers and capitalizing on the other end. Now, here's Burks. Oh, after Julius nice Irving's miss, right there. and he's fouled oh, right yeah. on that yeah, shot, he's got he's, the chance to pick he up the points at the now, line. That's on Allen Iverson. You know, both of Wendell Carter Jr.'s parents <laughs> play basketball at a really high level. And you know what I like to say? You cannot run away from the DNA. And I think you see that DNA of his parents Ooh. in his game. I know he's getting now, a little up there in age, but he can still. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Yeah, he can still crisscross applesauce you. Same with Julius Erb. Orlando grabs Maybe the Maybe he needs to start taking his game more outside, though, you know? Especially right at the rim. The pass to Nelson. Kicks to Black. Burks for three. Ooh. Drills Ooh. three pointer. Burks has got his second like basket that? of the night. Anything, huh? And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple yeah, let's get Bob Burks the ball. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. Feeds it to Iverson. Inside, here's Chamberlain. Good. And it's Iverson who yeah, picks up the assist. Eat all day. Defensively, no matter how bench. athletic or physical or intentional you are, there's very little you can do once Wilt gets the ball inside. What are you looking for here? Got everybody kind of against Nelson. Sit up. Someone's gonna do something. There we go. Oh, the old double screen, the cheeky double screen that does not even get him remotely open because he ran that so Here's Nelson and Joe. Hey, that's gonna be the end of the quarter, though. I mean, 35 to 26, Magic should be able to seal this at home. Already off to a nine-point lead after the first quarter. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> that's a good 12-point game right there. Um. Did they ever get back into it? Was it ever really close? I mean, yeah, it was two points a half. Oof, and they pulled back another nine-point lead going to the fourth. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, that fourth quarter probably wasn't very entertaining. Uh, and, and that actually leads me to, I got to check out Joel Embiid's fourth quarter numbers. But even with the Magic shooting much less, uh, percentage wise from three they, they put up so many more shots the 76ers man you, in this league today you, you gotta attempt more threes man and that'll probably help your percentage inside um you know even if it does come at the cost of coming you know taking away a few free throws right uh but to get you know to have the rebound numbers be even for this magic squad you know that's huge um 
to pass the ball as well as they did and for their bench to outperform the 76ers bench that's huge for them their bench is better than it's ever been this season um you know is it good enough to to get them where they want to be i don't know but uh yeah we'll, we'll see um let, let's take a look we, we gotta take a look at the box score here. so bj cannon actually with 21 points um joel and bead only scored two more points after that first quarter. Wow. So they they really boxed him up. Yeah, he got you know a couple blocks in there. Um, that was really about it. You know, Cunningham had to come in with rebounds. Will Chamberlain had to get the rebounds off the bench. Um, you know, so that's that's interesting to see from them and then you know the Dario Turk pretty much doing nothing for them as well Orlando though man Grant Hill came out on fire 16 points in the first quarter uh Nelson had 18 points off the bench which is wild uh Tracy McGrady with eight assists which is uh, all right but I mean Shaq yeah six of nine eight rebounds three blocks uh, Dwight Howard probably even more impressive with eight rebounds and five blocks, zero turnovers. And then he had, you know, you know he's gonna get double digit assists, right? <laughs> you know, fourteen assists. Um, uh, that's that's really it though. Uh, no one really played a spectacular game. I guess it was just about who played the the least bad. 